Hey guys, this is the Marcy Minute with me, Ronnie Jr. I'm hosting because I want to ask those questions that you want to know about Miss Marcy Bubara. I've never had another person host my show. Well, we got to talk about it because me and Marcy work in the same office and she walks over to I my desk. I got a job. Uh, yeah, you're, you're not cut off exactly anymore. <laughs> you're working your butt off. Um, but she walks over to me and she says, I'm so excited. I'm so anxious about the show. What's that yeah. about? Well, I just finished watching episode four, and I'm, like, kind of freaking out. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just so surprised at how bold people are. It's kind of the same way people are so bold on Twitter. Right. Like, people, you know, tweet, like, oh, you fat hoe. You wouldn't even wow. know what a dick was if it hit you in the face. I mean, they say weird things, like mean <laughs> things. Yeah. And so I'm also surprised by my castmates, and I love them all. Yeah. Okay. It's but it's a TV. show. Yeah. It's a show. But let's be, let's be honest. I can't get over how brave some of them were in those confessionals. And me too. It seems like one of the girls, um, Jessica from Florida, she's like a socialite or mm -hmm. whatnot, seems to have a lot of money. Uh, she was actually saying some things about you. I think everyone in the house is just extremely fed up with all the talking Marcy's doing. She has like this motor mouth of bullshit. I just think she's gonna get called out sooner than later because everyone's really had it with her. I just could not believe she was just like, I would much rather say stuff about behind your back than to your face. I was like, what she said? Yeah. I was like, Marcy, you're two-faced. You know, Amy would always talk about how funny Jessica was and how none of us could see how funny Jessica was and whatever. But really, Jessica, why weren't you funnier in the house? I mean, it <laughs> seems like you know, it just seems like every time that we turned our backs, and I know I've been talked, you know, been talked about as someone who's gossiping. Right. Uh, she's like saying the most snarky, awful, mean comments that I know producers did not put in her mouth because I can tell when they're different. Yeah. And so, I mean, her and I are fine. Jessica's cool. Do your thing, girl. But I just wish I saw a little more of that in the house because I think that if you look really closely and you watch scenes and who's in them in the house, living in the house. I mean, Jessica's just there, yeah. sitting. She's not that entertaining like some of the other girls. Who is the most entertaining? Or who do you like? Who do you collaborate with now that the show's running? Everyone's doing their own thing. You girls are growing. You yeah, know? you know, obviously Jen is great for TV, so I think it's going to be a bummer that she's gone. But I think you're going to see people's arcs grow. And just the way that all of a sudden this week, it's like, oh, Marcy's this, Marcy's that. Oh, I, I'm like freaking out about it. Um, I And think you're such a confident girl, so for you to be freaking out means that you got to watch this show. I like to be liked. I think mm. I'm used to being popular and people not being mean or thinking I'm mean. But whatever. It's like it was a weird situation and we didn't know each other but I love Marissa we talk on a daily basis mm -hmm. and um, you that's know, the other girl who you know I know you promote the whole plus size mm -hmm. fashion she kind of does the same thing am I right well Marissa's not technically plus size um, but she and is I a mean that with designer. no offense yeah. no you know she's a healthy girl and she's fabulous and she's all about fashion and designing for real women and girls and just kind of promoting fashion and style and her unique sense but we talk all the time I talk to Jen still we all talk on Facebook yeah. all the girls do yeah. but I'm just I am a little flabbergasted at the the sort of conversations that I'm now seeing like the pizzeria right I know that was kind of insane it was intense did you um, think it was going to go down like that? or? Um, I think that the biggest thing for me is that if people are talking about me, then I guess I'm not dead. Yeah. So hey. it's cool. If I'm the center of conversation, if I'm the hottest topic that you can think of to discuss, fabulous. You were kind of a hot topic uh, because you bought like some gift or whatever for yourself at the uh, swap meet. Why, why did that get Amy so mad, do you think? You know, it's hard to tell. In retrospect, was it production? Was it just something dramatic? Like mm -hmm. the potato was gone, Jen is gone, there's nothing else that we can, right. you know, cause drama? Or really, was Amy that pissed? Amy is very opinionated. Yeah. As you can see, Amy is zero to 60. I like her because she seems opinionated, but educated too, you know? You do like her. Oh, I do, I do. <laughs> She's told me that before. Mm -hmm. She's cool, yeah. So, okay, but that was your challenge, almost a challenge of your dreams, because you like the fashion thing. Mm -hmm. You got to host, mm -hmm. you know, you're a successful host. I mean, that Trying. had to be your favorite your favorite challenge? It was so fun to host and to get up there and do that fashion show. That's something I love. It's something that's definitely like in my blood and what I want to do. And just to be there with Tinsley and Robert Verde and Erica Rose, and mm -hmm. it was just, that was an awesome challenge and a lot of fun. So the fact that I was a hot topic was really cool for me in that episode. Um, so you do uh, plus size kind of things or in inspire young women to just be comfortable with their body. Where did that come from? You know, actually, it was about a year ago I started working with Scorch Magazine, which mm -hmm. is a plus size magazine, and it's online. It's kind of changing. We're sort of the new 
Perez Hilton for plus size. Oh, sweet. Um, but it really just was them being like, you're fabulous. And also Marky. I mean, I, you know, where we mm -hmm. work together. It's at yeah. um, a hosting boot camp and studio. Academy. Academy. Casting. And, you know, she really <laughs> emphasized with me, like, own it, own it. You're not right. skinny, own it. And I think that with the chocolate tasting and with anything on the show that has to do with not being thin, I'm like, hell yeah. So even on Twitter, when people talk about me that I'm fat, I'm like, oh, you're just bumping my brand. So thank you. Yeah. And it's all good. It worked out that way. So yeah. it was a great experience for you. I just realized this is supposed to be called the Marcy Minute, but there's so many great things to talk about. I so know. Much. We got to wrap it up. So what you need to do is go to her YouTube page at all times. Mm -hmm. Deal? And Ronnie's. Okay. Yeah. Randomly Ronnie Jr if you want to see about me too. Cool, that's Marcy, the Marcy Minute, the star, one of the great stars of Your Cut Off. It's a really cool show because a lot of people think that the show is about spoiled girls. It's totally not. It's about a lot of things. It's about growing people. That's <laughs> Thanks, Ron.